morning friends, it's Heather Moxie and I am back with another DIY of course. follow me on Twitter at Heather Moxie DIY you'll know that I've been planning on making a filing cabinet and today I'm gonna to be doing that using this guy <laughs> these things are huge it's one of those wooden crates from Hobby Lobby Michaels Joann's I got mine at Michaels um, they're really inexpensive and I always use coupons on them so it makes it even cheaper um, I picked these hanging filing folders up from Amazon and with one day delivery they were super cheap and convenient and they happen to fit perfectly in these boxes. I'm going to have to do a little sanding and a little chiseling on the side to get it to go smoothly but it's going to work out great. And I found this project in the depths of Pinterest. Um, it led me to a blog called Penny Loves Projects. I'll link her down below and um, that's where you can find the original project. Now she did this on a giant scale and did like um, uh, this huge cabinet with like eight or t eight to ten of these there she did a lot um, I only need one thankfully so it's just I live in a one bedroom and space is very limited so if I can find any way to minimize the things that I already have that would be great I hate I cannot tell you like how much I loathe the way that we're filing right now <laughs> we have several little little file folders that just do absolutely nothing but infuriate me because I can't get to what I need when I need it and I can never remember which one is where, you know, there's all kinds of crap and I can never remember where it is. So I originally was just going to get one of those two drawer filing cabinets but even those are really deep and they take up so much space and in an apartment that's, you know, already space limited. I know there's so many projects on Pinterest on how to dress that up but if you don't have the right space for a metal two drawer filing cabinet, it doesn't matter how pretty you make it, it's going to be weird. So, this is what I decided to do, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Let's get right into it. This is what I am working with now, and it drives me completely insane. I can never find anything I need when I need it, and I have one file for my boyfriend Kyle, another for me, another for school stuff, and it's just not practical at all. I want everything in one place, and I want it to also look good, so we're gonna do that today. I picked up a wood carving kit from Walmart for $5 and learned the hard way that they're actually knives, so I cut my finger open just a little bit, enough to bleed, so I had to go get a band-aid. Funny story, I've never used a wood carving kit before, so I went into it just thinking that it's strategically shaped metal, and apparently it's like an actual knife, so don't do what I just did. Anyways, you're gonna wanna shave down the edges of your crate. Now, I just did this and then periodically checked with my filing folder to see if it was going to work and slide relatively easily. So it's up to you, there's no set carve it down this much. It just basically do it until your file folders can move freely and you're comfortable with the way it turned out. Once you're happy with the edge you carved, you can go ahead and run a sanding block over it or a piece of sanding paper. You just want to smooth out all those jagged edges we may have just created and make sure that your filing folders can actually slide smoothly and they're not going to get caught on any of the edges. Once you're done with that, you're ready to stain. I'm thinking of doing a tutorial on just how I stain wood pieces because in almost every one of my videos I've done that and I feel repetitive talking about, oh, this is what you do. So let me know in the comments if you would like me to do that. But you're just going to take your stain and run it over every part of the piece, making sure to not put too much stain in one place and always go with the grain. That way you're not having streak marks. I use a foam brush. It's just my go-to staining brush. I know a lot of people use like pieces of uh, rags with a lot of these craft pieces. Pieces, I found that if you use fabric if there's any edges that you didn't know about you're gonna find out because there's gonna be a lot of hair or like fuzz from your towel or whatever rag you use left over so foam brushes are it for me but those are the basics of staining and if you want to know more I can definitely do a video but for now after you stain the whole piece as that's drying you can move on to filing and I have a lot of it it's ridiculous. So I went ahead and went through it all and shredded anything that we didn't need, broke it down into smaller piles, and then I could move on to actually filing. Once I had all my new categories labeled in my wonderful new filing folders, I went ahead and added these little fuzzy feet. That's what I like to call them. Um, they're really just like furniture protectors, I guess I would say. I don't know the exact name of them, but I will link it down below um, where you can find them on Amazon. They're kind of cheap wherever you find them, so they come in all kinds of different sizes. And whenever I do a woodcraft like this, I always add those little fuzzy feet to the bottom because it saves your project, it saves whatever you're putting your project on, and it just helps out a lot. So, 
And now that your crate is done, you can start adding your files. I dropped them in at an angle just to kind of get them all in there before I started moving them around, but they all fit really well. And going from what I had to this is a huge step up. Not only does it match my decor, but it fits everything that we need in one place. And some of the larger files that wouldn't necessarily go very well in the hanging files, I just left them in their manila folders. But this is gonna work great. It was an easy craft, an easy project. It looks great. And for what we have now, we don't need a two drawer filing cabinet nor do we have the space so I'm really excited about this and there you have it it's done and it just looks so beautiful it was so cheap and I'll list links and prices down below so you guys can find it but I absolutely loved this project and as always if you decide to do this project don't forget to tweet me at Heather Moxie DIY and I can't wait to see it and I'll see you next weekend bye